I'm Raven, and welcome to this tutorial on creating Luma wipe transitions for Open Broadcaster Software Studio. OBS has the ability to add transitions between scenes, and one of those transition modes is Luma wipe. Out of the box, OBS comes with a selection of classic wipes, such as checkerboard and zigzag. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how they work, and how to create your own Luma wipes and add them to OBS. In a nutshell, when you perform a transition, the new scene is layered on top of the old one. A grayscale image is then used to reveal the layer on top by using that image as a mask. On the left is the live transition as you would see it in OBS. In the top right is the raw grayscale image of the transition I am using, in this case, vertical stripes. In the bottom right corner is the visibility of that grayscale image as the transition progresses. Starting at pure black, Parts of the layer above are shown as OBS steps up through the shades of grey toward pure white. The transition is complete at pure white, and the old scene is completely hidden. What you are seeing right now are some of the stock transitions. You can immediately see how they all gradate from black to white in a recognisable pattern. Knowing this, you can control the direction and order of the transition by carefully using shades of grey. To demonstrate, let's take a look at the simplest of the Luma wipes, a linear transition. Here you can see a gradient of black to white from left to right. This means that when used in OBS, the transition will wipe from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side, like so. If I now flip the image so that it gradates from right to left, the transition is reversed. You can perform this inversion automatically in OBS by ticking the invert option when setting up your transition, so you don't need to worry about creating reversed versions of your transitions. And that really is all there is to it. You can create any sort of wipe by simply using a black to white pattern with any number of shades in between. You cannot control the duration of a transition within the image, as that is set entirely within OBS. However, you can control the speed of certain parts of your transition by gradating from dark to light over a shorter or longer space. Think of time not in seconds or pixels, but as shades of grey from black to white. Darkness is your new time. Take the linear wipe for example. It wipes at a steady pace because the gradient goes evenly from black to white. To demonstrate, I'm going to add two new stops to the gradient at 33 and 66% and set their shade to 80% and 20% black. Let's see how that looks in OBS. OBS steps through every shade of grey one by one, regardless of the duration of the transition. So because there are more shades of grey within the central area of the gradient, it is forced to spend more time stepping through that area of the image. Knowing all of that, and using the existing transition images as inspiration, you can make a wide range of wipes. Before you start, you'll need to have an idea for the wipe you want to create, whether it's a simple block wipe, or an image of your face. Start by creating a new image. You'll note that most of the struck transitions are low resolution. This is fine for wipes that feature fluffy gradients. If you're creating a sharp wipe with crisp edges, I recommend a resolution that matches your recording resolution. The only other setting I advise is ensuring that you're in grayscale mode to avoid any colourful accidents. For this demonstration, I'm going to be making a diagonal wipe that matches the Lair of the Raven splash. To do that, I'll need three diagonal stripes which progress at an even pace, one after another. Using my existing splash as a template, I'll quickly lay out some guides and create three layers, one for each of the stripes. Next, I'm going to fill in each layer with a gradient. Remember that time is measured in shades of grey, so I need to divide the scale of black to white into three portions. My first stripe goes from black to 60% black, top right to mid right. The second stripe goes from 66 to 33% black, bottom left to top right. The third stripe goes from 33% black to pure white, from mid right to bottom left. You'll note that I'm placing the gradients along the longest visible line of each stripe, and not from the corner to corner. This ensures that there are no time gaps between each stripe. Finally, I need the stripes to layer on top of each other properly. Hiding the second stripe and selecting the third, I'll quickly cut off the top left corner of the third stripe off, allowing my first stripe to be seen. The second stripe sits on top of the first and third stripe, covering the join. A quick selection with the polygon mask tool using the guides, followed by inverting the mask and hitting delete, completes the effect. Dead simple, right? But we're not done yet. Now we need to put the wipe into OBS. Locate your OBS Studio installation folder, which by default will be in program files. Your own installation and setup may vary, so you may have to hunt around. Go into the Data, OBS Plugins, OBS Transitions, Luma Wipes folder, 
and save your new image there as a PNG. I advise using a file name that matches the stock transitions. Use hyphens instead of spaces and keep it lowercase. If you receive an error that you do not have permission to save items to that folder, you'll need to grant yourself access. On Windows, right-click the LumaWipes folder and click Properties. Go to the Security tab, select Users from the Group of Usernames list, and click Edit. Select Users again in the New dialog and tick the full control box from the options below. Hit OK and OK again, then try saving your image. With that done, the last step is to find the wipes.json file. Open it in a text editor such as Notepad. If you've never used JSON before, don't worry. We only need to add a single line to the end, and if you make a mistake, you can fix it by editing the file. If you get stuck, just look at all the other lines above it for reference. Go to the end of the last line before the closing curly bracket and add a comma, as we're adding a new item to the list. Hit return and give your transition a name wrapped in quotation marks. You'd not need to include the luma.type part if you don't want to, it's purely used for translation. Enter a colon and type the file name of the transition image you created. When you're done, hit save, and you're done. Open OBS, add a new Luma wipe transition, and if you have done everything right, your transition will appear in the list. And that is everything you need to know to create a world of funky and questionable Luma transitions. The principles of these wipes apply to more programs than just OBS. Other programs use the same principle for their Luma wipes too. Have fun with it, and let me know in the comments what sort of transitions you're making. Until next time, I'm Raven, and that's all from the lair.